Hey guys, it's Lydia here from LA3D and today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new TiVo Tarantula Pro 3D printer. So let's get started. Alright guys, so starting off, um, TiVo did actually send me their brand new TiVo Tarantula Pro and I'm super excited to print and use it and also build it for you guys on my channel. Now um, I'm not going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial just because that will take a little too long. Um, I might actually do a um, live uh, video and you guys will know by um, by the time this video is up the build of it but after that I, in this video I will be doing a review on the printer. Um, I'm super excited to review it. My first ever 3D printer was the original TiVo Tarantula and I loved it and as you guys know on my channel I actually converted it to an engraving machine so I'm super excited to uh, show you guys what they have to offer now, the brand new version, and um, also stay tuned for a TiVo Neuris uh, 3D printer review. That is also one of their newer 3D printers that I will be reviewing for you guys on my channel. So let's unbox it real quick. Um, and because it is a DIY printer, that's why I will be doing a separate um, build, just because it's more complicated. Um, and again, it won't be step by step just because um, I know there's lots of other uh, people who have reviewed it and done step-by-step -step tutorial on actually how to build it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you like the review. All right, so starting off here, um, on top we have a nice um, build plate, uh, build tack. Um, this is the just an off-brand, it is actually 3M. Um, sticky so that means it'll be very nice now right off the bat noticing there's no glass bed um, this is the original aluminum like they did on the original TiVo tarantula which is actually um, not the greatest um, because these things tear very well and uh, but I guess that's what you get for the $200 price so we're just gonna put this off to the side um, and then off the top here we have some um, of the the bags, the screw bags, they're all labeled and everything. And then here is some zip ties. Um, everything you need to start off 3D printing. Now I would recommend you get a new SD card because these are mostly fake. Um, they actually have a mini SD card inside of them and they don't work very well with printing. Um, so I recommend you just buy a new one of those. You can find them super cheap at Walmart. Um, and then here, I'm guessing these are the end stops. And then you have your um, bearing wheels here. Um, this is, I'm guessing, more for the Z-axis or just a couple replacement. Um, but these will all be in instructions and you will use them uh, for the build. And then this is also for the uh, Z-axis. So next what we have is on top here, one of the, I believe this is the extruder. The extruder motor uh, it goes on top here. And this is where the Z-rod goes. So this is most likely the z-axis uh and stop or z-axis motor goes here also so this is, goes um on to the left side of the printer um and then also here these are the rest of the wheels for each of the accesses and then this is the little bearing and a couple stuff for the top of the z-axis and then over here um, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure these are just uh, the plates for the accesses just like this one. Um, but once again, we will figure all this out in the instructions. Um, and then uh, we have the hot end over here. And I believe I remember them saying this is a volcano hot end, as you can see here, down here. Um, it is not an E3D version, but it is a volcano um, with the normal TiVo brand version of the square block here and it is one um one nozzle one extruder next we have a uh, some of the extruder parts as you can see this is the bowden uh, tivo titan i really like these and i will probably print myself a um a bowden or an insert in here a new one so i can print with flexible material with this printer also Turning around next, we have um, all of the access 
um, bars, the rails and everything. Um, those I'm just going to set up there. These are simple, clean, black. Um, very nice. I really like how um, TiVo sticks to their uh, normal colors. And I also like how they keep it black and not silver. Um, but the only downside to that is you can see lots of scratches and when the screws actually dig into uh, these rails. Once again, this is the heated build plate. Uh, very nice, very uh, sleek, and it actually is pretty thick. And then here is the heated bottom here. Uh, these holes are just for when you put it on the actual uh, mount here, and that's where the um, the and that's where the springs will go. And then so this is just the bed mount. I really like this style. Uh, it's super strong, and it is not going to bend or warp on you. And one thing I also did want to mention is um, the difference between this and the original TiVo Tarantula is everything is now metal or aluminum, no more acrylic, no more of that crappy acrylic. Um, but one uh, same similarity they have is they both are still aluminum build plates. And the final thing we have here on top is just our extruder motors, now, or our stepper motors. Um, now these are the type they are. I'm not 100% sure if these are the same or a newer version than the original TiVo Tarantula. Um, but I only had one problem with my original TiVo Tarantula with a motor. And that was mainly because I actually drilled a hole in it to, um, to fit it on a new mount. Uh, so that was the only problem. But I really like these motors. They're strong enough and they work really nicely with uh, these printers. So as you saw, I took off the top and what we have left in here, I'm going to leave this stuff in here for now. But as you can see over here in the left, we have our power box, our power supply. So hopefully this one doesn't go out on me like my uh, TiVo flash one did. I did actually have to replace it and I did have to put it on the outside of my printer, as you guys may have noticed in some of my videos. Uh, but then we have another motor here uh, and this one has a longer shaft, I believe. And then here's the front screen, one of the bases. Just like the TiVo Flash, some more rails down here. This is, I believe, the LCD screen. It is very tiny, but uh, works just great. It is the same exact one that is on the TiVo Flash. It is very nice, and uh, definitely the size is just perfect. There is some more screws and nuts in here. Um, some other things, I'm not really sure what they are, but we'll figure that out. Um, and then here is the plug-ins power supply box. Uh, and then what you finally get on the bottom here is a little spool of filament. Um, and this is totally works great to start you off with 3D printing, to adjust your printer, to get it to print perfectly, uh, to get it dialed in. Um, but yeah, that is basically it for unboxing. Now. Alright guys, so about a couple days later, I've actually printed a couple things on this awesome printer here. I'm sorry, I got a new microphone, so this is in the way, but that's just how it's going to have to be for a while. Um, but this printer is really amazing, and man, do I really recommend it for being your first 3D printer. It is so identical to my TiVo Flash. The only couple different things is there's no BL touch. It's not um, Dual-Z, which I'm pretty sure you can upgrade to. Um, it is not a glass bed, which is completely fine because the build tech surface that comes with the actual printer is really amazing and uh, has a great finish on the bottom, um, so you don't have to use any extra adhesive. Um, and then the only thing that I actually had to print for it was the spool holder up here and then a little uh, piece that I talked about in my live stream. Um, but other than that, I printed some awesome things. I even printed this really, really tiny bottle. And all of these prints that were actually printed in PolySmooth uh, filament from Polymaker. They have sent me multiple boxes of filament back here. Um, and I still actually have some black filament on the way. So definitely go check out that filament. It is my go-to filament, um, especially because I have the PolySmooth um, polisher uh, machine over here in front of me. Um, and that's what makes these... Uh, these prints really amazing. Um, even if they come out, even if the print comes out amazing, you can definitely smooth them out and make them completely solid and very strong um, after they're done printing. Um, but I did some prints in some uh, clear and then some in colored 
and then I'm actually going to be painting a couple of the models that I printed. Um, I just want to say I uh, apologize about my voice. We did have our state tournament this weekend. or um, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but we had our state tournament. So I have lost my voice a little bit, but I definitely want to get this video done for you guys. Um, so a lot of prints have been printed on this, and it's definitely a great printer. And I will be using it more, probably more than most of my other ones, just because it's super easy. It is very, very quiet. And I definitely like the style of it, even though it looks just like the TiVo Flash. Um, so let's check out a couple of the prints and then just look at the printer all together. All right, guys, so the first ever print that was talked about in the live stream is this actual um, 3D fill. Now, unfortunately, uh, when I scooped it off, um, the bottom broke, and that was because I did run out of uh, the filament that came with the printer and because it was, um, like, knotting up and getting stuck so I didn't want to waste that filament again so that is the only reason why this has no feet on it um and the pause and play setting on this printer where you go pause and you can change your filament and um resume to go back to it it works but the thing is is it doesn't home back over here like it normally would on the TiVo flash it basically just sticks there and the rest of the filament oozes out and that is also one reason why it broke off is because it didn't really adhere to it because there was a big glob of filament left on the corner but the other than that this filament uh or this printer made this print come out very very nice as you can see there's no banding or anything on here it was pretty smooth um this has two perimeters and zero infill as you can see uh it turned out very very nice and um, I'm really surprised on how well it looks with not having to do anything just after building this printer and then pressing uh, print and it just looks really amazing um, and I'm definitely excited to keep using this printer. The next thing I printed was this little um, this little jug here for my dog. Now as you can see it's very shiny and this was printed in Polymaker's Orange Poly Smooth Filament. As you can see I put a little sticker on there for my dog because his treats are in there. And same thing with this cap here. They were both printed on here separately, um, but the cap looks great. I didn't actually purge the filament uh, enough on here. That's why it's a little bit orange. But other than that, everything turned out. And um, as you can tell, this printer is very accurate because these were printed separately and they both still fit even after being smooth. So those definitely looked really good. So, like I said earlier, this is the little tiny bottle, the small version of this, um, and it was printed in Polymaker's Poly Smooth uh, Clear Filament, and these were actually printed together just like this, and as you can see how accurate this printer is, because this still needed to screw on there, and even after being smoothed a lot, um, the, the figure still kept its form and um, I, it is still possible to screw on there. So that shows you how accurate this printer actually is and how detailed it can get even at such a small figure. This is actually, I believe, 40% scale of the original. This isn't the original, I scaled this up a little bit, but of the original uh, design. And that is just amazing how well this printer can actually print because most of my printers cannot uh, print as small detail without having to change the nozzle. And this nozzle is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, which is great on how well it can print. So next here we have um, a little dinosaur that I printed. This actually did print with support and they came off very, very nice. As you can see down here, you can barely see it, even though it will, uh, even though it's clear. Um, but then this again is printed in Polymaker's Poly Smooth Clear. Um, or transparent filament and it was smooth and even though I did smooth it the lines came out amazing um, It is a little hard to see on here, but the lines came out great and I really really like how um, There's not a lot of banding on the Z axis with this printer um, It just turns out really nice. All right, so my final large print was this uh, pixelized head now unfortunately as you can see it has a flat head and that is because um, there was something wrong with the file um, and usually whenever I would try to slice this in my um, slicer It wouldn't allow me to print the actual whole head I don't know if that was something wrong with the actual STL file or something But as you can see this was printed in the uh, transparent filament um, And this is the infill on the bottom now This is pixelized and it has been smoothed for actually probably a total of an hour but in but in separate times um i think i did it 20 minutes at a time 
um, but it is very nice. And as you can see, um, I did actually use a little bit of support under here and underneath the chin a little bit, but that cleaned off very nicely. And as detailed as you can see here, the printer did a great job on that. And there, it's overhangs did amazing. The eyes look really nice. And there's a little hole inside the mouth, which is uh, really nice because you can see how detailed the printer got. So this printer is amazing with all the types of prints it prints, um, all the sizes and all the different colors that it can print. It just looks really nice and definitely 100% recommend this awesome 3D printer. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the review or the semi-review of this awesome new TiVo Tarantula Pro. It is an amazing printer and if you have not seen my two live streams, the build and the first print of this actual, actual printer, please go check them out. I will leave them both down below. They are um, actually quite long. The first print build, or er, the first uh, live stream, the build live stream was actually three hours long, so you do not have to stick around for the whole thing. And I do want to apologize for the poor quality of the video on that live stream that was with my computer. But then once I got everything built up and ev everything ready, and then I decided to do another live stream with the first print of the actual printer, um, I decided to use my phone because I figured out how to hook that up, so that's a lot better. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, there will be lots of prints on this printer. And once again, do not forget to go get yourself some poly smooth filament. It is a little bit expensive for a 750 gram spool, but it, then again, it is a very special filament because it can be dissolved and smoothed out with rubbing alcohol. So it is great filament and I definitely recommend it. It is my go-to filament and I love printing with it. I've actually printed with it way more than any of my other PLA filaments. So definitely, once again, go check them out. Um, and thank you to Luke for sending me uh, all of this filament behind me. Very, very nice of him. And definitely helping me out with all my projects and actually helping me print better quality prints for my zoo projects that I am do doing for my local zoo. Um, I'm helping them out with a lot of other things and making them uh, little probe things for helping with the animals. Um, so once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will leave the link to get this printer down below. It is only $200. It is a great $200 printer and definitely recommend it for your first printer because when you build it, you do get a, to know a lot about it. It is super easy to build. It only took actually about an hour or two for me to build it with ups and downs. Um, even though live stream was three hours long. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.